Welcome to Post to the GL from Code. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can post directly to the GL from AL Code without any, um, you know, having to actually create the data, uh, create a journal, and, and so on. Um, we're going to simulate how BC itself are doing it in other places. Um, and and this this is how I do it. If if I have a piece of code that is doing something and then it needs to post something to the GL, this is the, what I'm going to show. This is the way I usually do this. Anyway, let's get going because this might take a bit of time. Uh, so strap in and uh, have a coffee ready or whatever it is. Um, let me actually start. Um, by checking my dependencies here. So I just created, as usually created a small project so we can we can play around this. But I actually want to start by looking into the base app. More specifically, I want to find code unit 80. Um, so you know that we have two, we, we've got a lot of central code units, but there's, there certainly are a, you know, some are more popular than others, and 80 is sales post, and 90 is purchase post. So every time we want to post, you know, a sales order, a sales invoice, a sales credit memo, and so on, this is the place. So whenever you want to do something and you, uh, I'm not sure how to do it, Take a look at how it's done in the base app. It's always a good idea. So if we grab this one, um, and I know now I know what to search for, but uh, otherwise we need to actually search on. I'll just search for run with check. Um, and this is item journal. We're not in, interested in item, but basically what I'm doing here can it be applied to the other ones also? So, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna look for not item journal. Oh, hang on, there it was. Let's go back once. Here, general journal post line dot run with check, and we're passing a general journal line. So, let's check what, what this variable is to begin with. Uh, so I will hit F12 to find the definition, and we can see that this is code unit general journal post line. And if I F12 on that one, we can see that this is code unit 12. This is, again, one of the very, very central code units. So code unit 12 will take a journal line from a general journal or any of the many journals that are just a general journal in disguise. So the payment journal, the receipt journal, and uh, whatever it is. They're, they're all just the general journal from a data perspective and everything goes through this function anyway. Um, and what we want to do is use the function run with check because we can see that if I go back to sales post and let's see how is this code unit used? So let, let's find all the usage of this code unit in the um, in code unit 80. So I'll just search for that and a dot so we can see what happens. Um, so we can see run with check, 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 and run with check. So whatever is done from a, any type of sales document, everything is just passed into run with check. So let's take a look at the, at the function we are in here actually, because this is probably pretty, pretty nice. Um, so we can see here that this is some post sales tax to deal rounding. Um, and a Apart from the fact that we're in 19.1 here and we still have with statements uh, here, that, that well, that's another video. Let's talk with statements at some point in another video. Let me know in the comments below if 
if we should talk about with statements. Um, anyway, we can see here that it calls a function called init new line that takes a bunch of fields and then it kind of just no, 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 not nothing fancy pansy. We get a document type, document number. We get the posting group, account number, account currency code, and amount, and, and so on. And then we're just passing that. So even though general journal line here, you know, it's a record type, but it's never stored in the database. So we don't care about templates or batches and all that good journal templates journal uh, batches and all that good stuff because we create a record in memory and then we post it so let, let's let's see if we can do that uh, uh, we can check this in a new line to see if that is doing anything useful um, and basically it's just populating fields again so I, I, th I think we can do that. So uh, let's let's try to, to create an action here. Uh, area, what about, uh, sorry, this is a page extension, so we'll do an add first processing, right? Action, caption equal post something. Application area all that is good, and then uh, let's add a trigger. See, so trigger. There we go. So we know that we need the the GL post function, which was a code unit, and it was. Uh, let's see, see if we can get the name again. Uh, hang on. So. This guy, it was the general journal dot dash post line. That's a pretty good name, hey? General journal, ah uh, man, gen journal dot. You see that? That's the <laughs> let's see, general journal post line. Let's just do this, right? So we have that, and then we need, need a line. So that was a record from the general journal line. Um, so let's try that. So we do a, we init the line because that's proper, eh? And um, then let's think about what we want to post. Maybe we should actually just, for instance. Say we want to do debit 10, 9, 10 and credit 10, 9, 20 or something like that. So we would say that line dot uh, account type equal. And in this case, we're just filling out the fields actually. We, we Most of them, I think we could actually validate without getting into trouble. Um, And and it's always a good idea to if if you're in doubt in what fields to to populate, let's take a look at this journal. Okay, we clearly need to populate the posting date. So let's also actually let's do that first. Let's see if we can just kind of make the order here. How about today? And then we need to populate the document type. Document type, find a document type. And I think this is just a blank one, actually. We're just doing debit something, credit something else. And we need a document number. So let's call that for um, We can, we can play with the number series. I think there's a video on number series. Uh, otherwise, check that out. So now we got the account type account number. Uh, so let's see how little we can we can can fill out and still make this work. Description equal YouTube testing. 
Currency code we don't care about. General posting type, general business posting group, and all that good stuff. We don't care about that because the document type was blank. Uh, tax liable, we don't care about tax either. We do care about an amount. So let's do amount equal 100. Just for the. And then we we let's do a balance account to, to begin with. We, let's we can talk about so balance account. We can talk about not adding the balance account in, in uh, a, a bit later. So line dot balance account type is also a deal account, and line dot bell account number equal ten nine twenty. I think it was. Okay, so let's try this. So we'll do gl post dot run with check. We'll pass our line. And if I oh, hang on, sorry. Yeah, I added a gl account here. Sorry, you couldn't see that. So I think we're done. I think we're done. Let's see what happens. Um, let's see what happens. So what I did just before I started the video was that I changed the startup object ID to 16. So I will get the chart of account as my startup page. And hopefully that was also the page I added the function to. Um, so we're probably in here, actions, post something. Du, 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 du. Bam, it was even fast, eh? Uh, so let's see what we have here. We have a posting date, blank document type, YouTube testing, everything looks fine. Um, everything looks actually pretty nice. Um, Okay, so so let's try another thing, um, because now I just added the balance account. The balance account is 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 great, and and I try to always use it. But then somebody comes up with a uh, some sort of posting where you have two debit and one credit or, or something like that, and then balance account get complicated because they don't want four entries and only want three entries. Um, so, so how do we handle that? But let's, 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 uh, let's just change this one because we already posted this. So we can, we can, uh, we can change this one. So now we're, do, we're into document number two, but this time we're totally gonna remove the balance account. So if we just ran this, um we we would create something that's not very good um so let's actually copy this guy uh and we could also talk about consistency checks uh but let's just see if we can so now i have two lines here and we have the same document i'm sorry i'm calling post twice um and I know what I'm posting balance because debit one created another one. So, and let's change the amount actually to something so we can see the effect. So 123 and minus 123. We are deploying. Okay, so we go to action, post something. Okay, so you see, this kind of was the same thing, right? Uh, so now we got something that X2, but no balance account. So on that account, and we go down to this account, we got the other side with no balance account. So now we can, we can get into into the uh, the one where let let's let's copy this again. 
And now we are into the third document here. And this time we're gonna do two, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do uh, 70 and then minus 30 and minus 40. But I think we need to involve another account. So let's do the, the 40 also. So, so now it's it's the uh, three lines in our uh, in our little posting case here. Let's try this again. Post something. And let's try f just you know to find entries here. On the last one, and it found three entries because those those were the three that we posted on this document number. So, and to be clear, that this is so. So now, now that the video is almost over, let's let's see what happens if we break this. So now we'll see if we can what happens if we're not tidy with our amounts. So let's try this again. Oops. The transaction cannot be completed because it will cause inconsistencies in the deal entry table. Check where and how the consist consistent function is used in the transaction to find the reason for the error. Um, and, and this is handled by code unit 12, meaning that it figures out that, hey, buddy, the, 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 the sum of amounts in the GL, uh, GL ledger entry table should always be zero. It's not. So at this point, the table would be marked inconsistent and you're not going to commit this. Um, so that, that's pretty clever. But again, what is actually very clever here is that the all we did, all we did was call one function in a code unit saying, here's some data. And we specified in this case, you know, we specified what seven fields we could we could specify a lot more and and depending on what it is you have to specify a lot more um and and dimensions truly make this way more complicated um to a degree where we cannot totally do this in memory anymore if we need to create new dimension sets um, let me know in the comments below if we should do a how to create dimension sets video. I'm, I'm trying to remember if I did one of those. I don't think I did. So let me know if we, if you, if dimension sets are a good topic for, for another video. Anyway, that's how you can post directly to the GL from code. And it's, it's not that complicated. Uh, and it's, it's very fast. And uh, as you can see on the last uh, example that it's, no, you should you should be really really careful. But again, the system will make sure that you don't make too big of of, of mistakes. Uh, and and the, the biggest mistake you can make when posting to the GL is mainly that what you are posting will not balance, uh, and the system will check for that. So that's how you post to the GL from code. Have a wonderful time, and uh, I'm going to try something I haven't done before. Uh, is that, um, what's that video? Um, that's a good one, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.